The snow and ice can also present, present a dangerous problem above the roadways as well. A state lawmaker wants to require truck tops to be cleaned off so the snow and ice doesn't bombard other drivers. News 8's Jim Sinkovitz has the story tonight in Harrisburg. Well, I'm a state senator who has been hit by flying ice a couple of times and who lost a constituent to flying ice in 2005 has reintroduced legislation that would force or require snow and ice be removed from moving trucks or face immediate fines. This is seriously dangerous. Let's get rid of that snow and ice and these icy missiles flying off, especially these tractor trailers. This is a matter of safety. On State Senator Lisa Bascola represents Lehigh and Northumberland counties and knows that flying hard snow and ice can injure others and in some cases kill. In my district, there was a woman, Christine Lambert, who died on Christmas morning with a chunk of ice flying off a uh, tractor trailer. Bascola was instrumental in getting a law that's in effect today that could lead to charges if anyone is seriously injured by flying ice or snow. But her new bill would allow state police to pull anyone over whose tractor trailer is presenting a danger from snow and ice that hasn't been removed. And I understand that, but a big truck is not necessarily like a regular sized car. I mean, you can't just brush it off. A long haul driver we caught up with tonight says she does what she can to knock off some of the ice but said it's just as dangerous for her to try to climb up on the trailer to remove snow and ice. The cars are not supposed to fall too close. If they're, you know, keeping their distance and stuff like they should, they shouldn't have a problem. The senator, that the senator's bill will allow $25 to $75 fines. Several states already impose fines, some of them much higher, including New Jersey, which fine for that is $1,500. Reporting live in Harrisburg, Jim Sinkovitz, back to you.